You asked, and now it's finally here. Appalachian Wireless now offers unlimited data on the best network in the region. See store for complete details, better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless and East Kentucky Network Company. This past Saturday, the CSX Santa Train arrived again, just as it has for the past 74 years. This year's running of the Santa Train marked the 75th anniversary. As always, large crowds greeted the train as it passed through Pike County in Kentucky and communities in Virginia and Tennessee. Those crowds were greeted back by two vintage locomotives on the front of the train, including the former Clinchfield Railroad number 800. The sleek, streamlined engine was the first diesel-electric locomotive ever owned by the former Clinchfield Railroad, now a part of CSX and the original railroad to run the Santa Train. The engine was painted back into its original Clinchfield paint specifically for the Santa Train and was paired with another vintage locomotive sporting full Clinchfield dress. Many came out to see the train just as they had for years on end. Others were coming out for the very first time. It seems pretty cool so far. He likes trains, so... This is definitely something he enjoys. You think he'll be excited to see Santa Claus? Oh yeah. Most of them. They just love it. They love seeing him. They love everything about him. They, he's a leader to them right now. You know, they make their Christmas list every year. So they, when they get this chance to see him, they love it. <laughs> Another Santa Train first-timer was country music legend Ricky Skaggs, who, in addition to the Clinchfield 800, was this year's celebrity guest. Uh, it is a milestone year, and, and uh, you know, getting to see the the, 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 the engines that uh, that's pulling the cars, uh, all refurbished and repainted, and they're beautiful. And uh, it's uh, the time of year, the giving part. You know, the Bible tells us that you know it's more blessed to give than to receive. So. We're the ones that got the blessing. They may have got the stuffed toys, but we got the blessing. That's, uh, that was the special part. All total, more than 13 tons of gifts were given out on Santa Train Day. But not everyone planned to keep those gifts. One young man from Pikeville said he planned to donate the stuffed animals he collected to a local homeless shelter. It was nice to do that stuff and stuff like that. And it's nice to donate stuff if nobody has no stuff and stuff like that. And that spirit of giving was alive and well throughout the crowd on Santa Train Day. From along the route of the world-famous CSX Santa Train, with the EKB News team, I'm Chris Anderson for EKB News.